Welcome to Mr. Stead's Mental Math, Mental Math, Mental Math. Lesson one, compatible numbers. I'm going to show you how these compatible numbers, learn, knowing what those are, can help you do thousands of math problems really quickly. It really makes your math a lot more fun. Compatible just means goes together. You'll see that a lot when you're playing, when you go to buy a video game. You got to make sure it's compatible with the system you have. If you have a Nintendo Wii, you got to buy a Nintendo Wii game or they won't work. They're not compatible. Compatible means to go together. Now in math, there are numbers that go together. And they just kind of fit together. They kind of get along better than other numbers. Those are compatible numbers. If you know them, math becomes really, really easy. I'm going to do some math for you very quickly. I want you to see. I'm going to show you some compatible numbers and see if you see any patterns. 1 plus 9, 10. That's compatible because 1 plus 9 gives you a nice zero number. You love zero. Zeros make your life really, really easy. Why zero? 2 plus 8. Those are, those are compatible. They give you 10. 3 plus 7 gives you 10. 4 plus hmm, six. Are you seeing a pattern here at all? Now five plus five gives you ten. Notice all these are compatible. Uh, now we go back six plus four equals ten. Wait a minute, that's the same as this one right here. So we don't need to do any more. We could keep going if we go to six, seven. You see the pattern though. As these go up, these go down, they kind of complement each other. We can keep it going. 6 plus 4, 4 plus 6. 3 plus 7, we could go 7 plus 3 equals 10. Let's just do that just for fun. 8 plus 2 equals 10, and we're going to end up at 9 plus, you guessed it, 1 equals 10. So those are compatible. If you know those, really, there are only, how many are there here? There's one, two, three, four, five arrangements of compatible numbers. And the good news is, not only if you know these, you'll know them for almost, you, these, yes, these are just ordinary numbers, but you'll be able to know them for really, really large numbers. Let's take a look at this. All right, let's say you have to add all these numbers up. Whew. You could start up here and go 9 plus 5. What is that? I can't remember. 9, 14 and go that way. But there might be an easier way if you know about these compatible numbers. Now, if you go back to the list, you kind of, if you really practice the ones that are compatible, you can see some, maybe a quicker way to do this by matching the numbers that go together nicely, like salt and pepper. Um, like ketchup and mustard. Like birthdays and cake. This is more like broccoli ice cream. Just those are two things that don't go together nicely. It's because you get a 14. We're looking to create 10s and 20s and 30s or 100s to make our lives really, really easy. All right, I'm going to say this a lot, but in, if you know that in addition to multiplication, order doesn't matter, it can save you a lot of time. You don't have to go in this order. You can go in any order you want. So let's just check out, are there any things, that, any compatible numbers? Oh, right here. 6 plus 4, that makes a 10. Easy. Um, there's a 5 and a 5. That makes a 10. You just got to keep track once you've gotten rid of something. Hey, a 9 and a 1, that gives you another group of 10. 8 doesn't do anything. I don't see any matches for the 8, but 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now we've gotten rid of that number, that number, that one, that one, these two. Now we, we've turned these all into nice 10. So watch this. It goes 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, we got rid of these too. We got to get rid of those. 10, 20, 30, 40. And then there's just 8 left. That's 48 is the answer to that problem. Pretty easy. All right, now I'm going to let you give it a try. I'm going to give you some numbers. Just look at them. Remember, we're trying to do these in our heads. I know you can write them down probably. 
but uh, I'll give you like four numbers, and four or five, maybe even six. Look at them and see if you can add them in your head, looking for compatible numbers. All right, go. Give you a few seconds here. Do 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 do. Think about it. Think about. Look carefully. What things go together? Do you have it? Let's do it together. Uh, six and three. Yeah, we're gonna go with a number. But wait a minute. Three and seven go together. We're gonna go with ten. Six and four go together to give us another ten. So the answer to this. Twenty. All right, here's another one. Go. Do, do, do. What could you do here? All right, do you see anything? How about 8 plus 2? That gives you compatible, gives you 10. Oh, wait, there's another 8 plus 2. That gives you another 10. So you could take these. These all give you 10. 10 is 20. 20. And all that's left is that 9. Gives you 20. 9. Try this one. Hey, look at this. 10. 10. 10, 20, 27. Try this one. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. It? Do you have it? Don't scream it out. Don't scream it out, please. Wait, you do? Ten. Ten. Oh no, no tens here. What do we do? Oh, wait a minute. There is a ten. Not with this one. That gives us ten, twenty, thirty, and four. Eighty-four. And that's a little lesson about compatible numbers.